What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Good Old Boys YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys my speculations as to why the rings got burnt out of the Hawk 250 and I also came up with a little bit of a temporary solution to alleviate some of the oil burning issues. So to start off with we need to understand kind of the background information on this. So uh, the bike was broken in properly. I mean I, I ran the thing for 600 miles uh, very easily. I stayed under 40 miles an hour that entire time within those 600 miles and uh, to be totally fair I don't think uh, many people would break a bike in for that many miles most people would say 50 or 100 miles the bike's broken in ride it like you stole it right um, so it had an extra safe break in I'm going to show you guys a clip from another video that I had some other observational tests that eliminate a lot of other things that could have caused issues. So here's that clip. So now we're going to do a few very basic, very observational tests to see if we can figure out what went wrong. So you guys could see earlier in the video, we did change the oil again when I went back to the factory air filter. So we have genuine Honda oil in here with a couple hundred more miles. So the first thing here is you know, check the oil. I'm holding the bike level and you guys can see we're well within spec. Also, you guys can see we have more than enough oil in there. If I smell it, it doesn't smell like gas or anything. So, you know, we don't have any gasoline contaminants in the bottom end. Now we're gonna go ahead and check the spark plug take a look at the spark plug here and I'm going to put a picture of the spark plug chart up here and hopefully you guys can tell the color on this but it looks just about perfect it's a little tidbit orange uh, it's not really black or sooty which would mean it's running very rich and it's not like extremely white or anything no burnt electrode so we can tell we're running pretty much the perfect mixture in this engine so we cannot blame carburation on this issue. Again, we're not running rich, we're not running lean. We're running just about right. So here's that spark plug chart. If you guys wanna pause the video, take a look at it and compare it to the color we have in this spark plug. So another thing to check real quick here, as you guys know, I had been running the factory air filter for a little while now, at least a couple hundred miles. So one of the things was to check this clear tube. This is how I figured out the k and air filter was leaking. I'm gonna wipe this off with a rag and we'll be able to tell real quickly if the stock filter is leaking, which I can already tell it's not, but I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more on the outside of the tube for you guys so you can clearly see. So as you guys can see, we have a very clear tube here. No real big dirt particles or anything like that. As you could see earlier in the video with the K&N air filter, obviously the K&N air filter was leaking. The stock air filter again is not leaking. And as you can see, we've taken a big list of possible things that could have caused the rings to go bad. And we've really narrowed it down to a few things if you think about it. So uh, in my opinion, the only thing that makes sense to me is that the rings and top end are just poor quality. Keep in mind, we are talking about the new top end here. So now the question is, what caused the top end to go bad? The short answer is a poor quality top end and running the bike at higher RPM. Now keep in mind, when I say higher RPM, I mean like normal higher RPM. We're talking about 6,000 to 6,500 RPM. So to help you understand this and to kind of put it into perspective, there's quite a few people out there that run their Hawks at this RPM all day, every day to commute, to get to work, to go down the highway, to even keep up on a 55 mile an hour uh, back road, right? So point being, this is more of a normal RPM than a high RPM. But the reason why I call it a high RPM is because most of the time when I'm cruising on a back road, I'm cruising around at 40, 45 miles an hour and not really much more. So I'll see anywhere from 4,500 RPM to 5,500 RPM. So when I start seeing anything over really 6,000 RPM, 6,500, 7,000 RPM, I start thinking that that's kind of like a higher RPM. And 
Uh, again, to reference how most people are riding their bikes with a 1745 gearing setup, if you're cruising around at 60 miles an hour, your bike is seeing every bit of 6,500 or 7,000 RPM on a regular basis. So hopefully this puts it into perspective for you guys. And when I say 6,000 RPMs is a high RPMs, really it's more of a normal RPM for the Hawk 250 and it really shouldn't be any big deal for the Hawk 250 and really in particular, it shouldn't have been that big of a deal for the new top end. Next, we're gonna talk about how I temporarily figured out how to alleviate this issue just a little bit. So uh, what I'm talking about here is obviously the amount of oil the bike is burning. You guys saw in the k and air filter video where I also mentioned the new top end is burning oil. When I first started the bike up, it was blowing clouds and walls of blue smoke. So the thing is, is I included that clip just to get my point across that the bike is burning oil. So once the bike warms up though, the bike is actually not burning that much oil. It's, you can't even honestly really see it that much. It's mostly you smell it more than you see it. And that's part of the reason why I decided to run the bike for a little while with, you know, the new top end. Cause I mean, it's not exactly a mosquito fogger yet. Again, you can mostly smell it and not so much see the oil. So it's not too big of a deal at this point. So again, one of the ways I figured out how to alleviate the oil burning issue and how to get the bike to burn a little less oil is I've actually added a half a quart of oil on top of what I already have in the bike. And for whatever reason, this causes the bike to burn a little less oil. So uh, it makes the bike a little more rideable it makes it so I can put a few more miles on the bike before I have to change the top end again so <laughs> kind of nice well that's it for this video I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe check out that description box below and we'll catch you guys on the next video Peace. Woo.